Good evening, folks. Welcome to Muscatine for the battle between the North Scott Lancers tonight and your Muscatine Muskies. Last time these two teams played uh, over in North Scott, it was North Scott winning 56 to 47. Uh, not, a, I mean, you know, that's a game that could be winnable. I think um, they got five guys that are over 100 and, uh, 100 points this year. They shoot about 44 percent from the four. They shoot 36 for threes. Their free throw percentage is 69. And defensive rebounding is 340. Their offensive rebounding is 451. They do have 163 turnovers with 88 steals. Uh, Muscatine comes in tonight with five guys over 100 points as well, uh, led by Wieskamp. And Hodges is right behind him. Uh, we come in tonight shooting 41% from the floor. Uh, 28 from the three land. Free throws were at 65. Defensive rebounds were at 313. Offensive rebounds 155. Turnovers is what kind of hurts us, I think, the most. We have 251 turnovers. I think if you know we, we want to stay in this game tonight, we got to limit those. And of course, we have 112 steals. So, I mean, looking at it on paper, I. I mean, obviously, probably North Scott's the favorite. They're in first place in the conference right now with a 10-4 and four record. Uh, there are a couple other teams with a 10-4 and four record, but I think they must own tiebreakers over them or something because they do have them listed at first. And uh, like I said, they come in 10-4, and four and we're 4-10. and 10. So I would say North Scott is a favorite, but that doesn't necessarily mean we can't, you know, improve off of that 56-47. to 47 game that we played last time so uh, you know and you know that's a really good point you know this is a team that over the last three to four weeks has really taken some nice growth steps right you know they're playing well together they're attacking they're hustling it, yes they're hustling. you know i mean they are hustling and it's definitely uh something that's enjoyable to watch even if they don't win you know they they um they're starting to play they're starting to gel a lot better than they were at the beginning of the year and they just played a video of i'm not sure what on the scoreboard oh I, shoot i'm sorry i think it was i think it was just be nice be I think nice it was, i think it was the sportsmanship video. okay so all I right we're okay but and it looks like starting for the Muskies tonight is Lopez, Craye, Emmert, Wieskamp, and Henderson. And uh, starting for the North Scott Lancers is Watkins, Gerardi, Reed, Phillips, and Albrecht. Phillips, I believe, is their leading scorer. Yeah, with 247 points. Uh, he's a forward at six foot seven, bigger kid. Um, so we'll see if we can kind of limit what he does tonight and uh, go from there. So. Hopefully, um, like I said, hopefully we can improve off of that 56-47 match. Um, you know, and maybe get our crowd into it tonight and squeak out a small upset here. Well, you know, it's going to be tough without the band. Yeah. yeah without, I don't know what Jeff Hyde's doing tonight, but. I I like the band. I love the atmosphere it brings, but I'm not going to complain. <laughs> well, I can hear you. <laughs> exactly. So, do we know who we're talking about down here? I can't. Uh, I can't. A uh, girl that passed away. Oh, okay. Okay. I didn't know they were going to be doing this before the game, or we've been prepared to be able to bring it in for you folks. I'm just, I apologize for that. Yeah, so. Um, I don't know if I can get you a little bit of it. These bracelets serve as a reminder of her and who she was. These represent her th through her favorite colors, one of her favorite artist's songs, and the way she admired her friends. 
The song Mirror Ball by Taylor Swift is featured on the outside of the bracelet, being one of Kahina's favorites. Kahina was just like a mirror ball in the sense that she shined so brightly and reflected that into others and made them a part of her beauty. This song seemed a perfect fit. There will be a Google form set out in which you can pre-order a bracelet. The bracelets will be $2 and the funds will be donated to the University of Iowa Stead Family Children's Hospital. Thank you for being our superstar, Kahina. You are always with us. Thank you. Great. Uh, nice piece there. I, I didn't catch all the details, but I believe there's on bracelets in Kahina's memory. Uh, there'll be a Google form out. I'm assuming you'll be able to find it on the high school Facebook page and stuff like that. Yeah. To be able to pre-order uh, with the proceeds going to the Set Family Children's Hospital. Up and out. Up and out. But yeah, like I said, going through, uh, uh, they're going through the non-starters right now uh, for North Scott Lancers, uh, first place in the conference. Like I said, uh, you know, and, uh, that Dewitt game the other night, that one still sits in my mind. It just, it still bugs me, and hopefully it doesn't bug the kids. Yeah, you know, and and that's. I think the big thing that we're going to have to look at here is, you know, oftentimes you take, it one game, you take the season one game at right. But in this game, we're going to have to take this almost minute by minute, right. possession by possession. Exactly. You know, when you're playing a team the caliber of North Scott, you have to make sure that your points per possession keeps on pace right. consistently. Because you're not going to be able to outscore them by 10 points during the game to catch up. Right. So you've got to find ways to make them turn over the ball, which is a potential. Right. You know, we've got to limit ours. Exactly. And then make sure that we get the ball in the hole. Yeah. Know, we've got to take good sh good shots. We've got to make that one extra pass. Right. You know, make that extra swing pass. Whatever it is to get the slightly better shot to take that, you know, what did you say we were shooting 40 some percent? From the floor, 41. 41 yeah. percent. So, you know, if you can get that up to 48, 49, right. limit your turnovers, you're going to be in the right spot. Right. And, and, you know, I really, after seeing most of these teams, I really haven't seen that team that's just like that much better than everybody else. You know, what I mean, they're they're pretty even. You know, and and if you get a couple things to go your way, then maybe, you know, maybe you can sneak out some of these games that we lost. You know, because I really haven't seen that team that's just head and shoulders above everybody else. You know, I I've seen some good teams that are you know maybe more talented or you know just as talented as you know we are, but you know we're not out of it by any means. I don't think so. The national anthem here, folks. Enjoy. There you go. Perfect. You know Rivo as expert. Be by the dawn's early light. What so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleam, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the past. Your muskies are in their home whites with the gold 
numbers and uh, black in the back. Black, 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 black. The good guys wear white. Yeah, I betcha. At least tonight. Tonight. Sometimes they look crazy. Yep, yep. Maybe sometimes they get crazy and work cold. I doubt it. Ah, that'd be unique, we'll say. I do like the alternate uniforms every once in a while for whether it's football or whatever, but. And here we go. We skip. The tip off does go to North Scott. Well, the good news is now we have the possession. Here. Exactly. Good pass inside. Coming out in our man to man, man here. Big three off the corner there. Missed right out of the gate and the rebound muskies. Cray doing a great job. There we go. Yeah. Um, we did get a travel on the other end though. I don't he must have just barely picked his foot up or something. I didn't see the travel, but that's the stuff we gotta stop right there. I mean we got a great defensive possession and then get down the court and then we get a little bit of a travel. We just can't afford to do that against these guys. Up and in, the little runner there by number 34. That's Albrecht. Not moving real well without the ball here. There we go. Now we got a good offensive flow going. Cray inside, thinks about it. Down to eight seconds on the shot clock here. We got to get something up, guys. Wees camp from a long ways away. Ugh. Got a foul underneath on North Scott. A push. So we'll get the ball back. The three was on line. It was just a little bit short. Well, that's probably because he was a handful of feet behind the line. Oh, yeah. He was a ways back there. Just kind of threw one up. So we got a foul on, I don't, who did they call it on? Uh, they've not posted it yet. Yeah. I think it was, I thought it 15. was. 15. So uh, Reed picks up his first foul. Inside, good little drop step there by Emmert, but he couldn't quite get the basket to fall. And then we got Emmert on an arm, I believe. Picking up his first. So now both teams with the one. We're picking up a little bit of a press here, just kind of pestering them more than anything. Ooh. He will, ooh. Our defense is looking good. Nothing fancy about what North Scott's running here, you know. Oh, big three there. Top of the key for three. Number three, Watkins. Making it five to nothing. Got a reach, possibly there. By number 34, that'll be Albright's first foul for North Scott. Team's second foul. So they are calling it a little bit tight right now, which well, is fine. You know, this is a point where, as they're calling it tight, we've got to take advantage of that, start pushing the ball underneath, try and rack up those fouls. Right. And get easy shots and hopefully get them to, to fall. go through the rim. On there, I, I, I like to use the glass in there when I'm like that, try to use it off the glass. Another three. Good rebound there by Henderson. Emmert up ahead to Emmert, up ahead to Hodge, or to Cree. There he used the glass. Nice. Tried to draw the little body foul there as well, but didn't get the call. Two to five now. Lopez. Oh, he threw his shoulder. He threw his shoulder. Good defense there by Lopez, but he threw his shoulder. And, but Lopez still pick, picks up the foul. I mean, normally the guy that's playing defense gets the benefit of the doubt when the other guy throws the shoulder like that. Well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh. Another nice rebound by Henderson up ahead to Wieskamp over to Hodges. Uses the glass again for two more. I like it. And those nice. transition points will keep us in the game. Yeah. Nice soft touch there by Cray underneath. And Emmert picks up a quick two fouls. You know, in order for this to work, we're going to have to play a clean game. Yep. And, you know, what does a clean game look like? Smart fouls. Smart fouls. You know. So. You guys, go around the other way. Don't come back behind here. Go around, go around that way. And uh, so he's going to go to the line for two. And he does make the second one. Or he missed the first one and makes the second one. So 6-4 game here. We're still right there with him. Um. Somebody's in streets over there. Who is that in streets over there? It's not Hodges, is it? I cannot tell. Lopez. Oh, tried to get it over to Wieskamp, who was open. Just got batted down. Good drive there. Barnett. Gerardi. For two for North Scott. Making it eight to four. We really even haven't had a good look at a three, really. I mean, anything. I like how we're driving in. Emmert a little bit too strong off the glass there. I really like how we're driving in and and working inside though. That's a three rebound. Emmert. Good stuff there, Emmert. I mean, we're crashing the boards hard. I mean, I, I would I would say we have the lead in rebounding. You know, and I think this is one of those things where uh, nice. eventually we're going to get them to roll. And yep. if we can keep playing like this, we're going to keep ourselves, and I know I say this a lot, folks, but in a position to right. be able to win the game at the end. At the end. You know, you're not going to win a game like this against a team like this in the first Ooh. quarter. You can Ooh. lose it. Right. But, but you're you not going to win, win it. it. You're not going to win it. Just stay with them. Big three there by uh, number 30 or 22. That's Phillips. That's his first three. He's shot. That's his first basket he's even shot. And he's their leading scorer. Wow. He's camping the Cray again. He calls a travel there. I don't know about it. Yeah. I think the, the tough thing is, you know, North Scott's playing kind of, I don't want to say conservative defense, but down on the post, they're staying down. Right. They're being patient. They're not jumping. They're not getting off their feet, which is where you're going to draw all the fouls. Right. So we're either going to have to get better at our ball fakes or we're going to have to try and do something to rattle them a little bit to get them to make those mistakes because they're not making them on their own at least so far. Not right now. And they're going to give that one to Emmert again, I think. That's three. Oh, Emmert. Here's a quick look at it again. Yep, that's three. He's going to have to take a seat for a while. Coming in number three for Emmert Thompson. Oh, and Hodges did make, has made an appearance now for uh, Lopez. So 12-6 to six game here. We are dangerously close here to being in trouble. We need to get a stop, miss this, and get the rebound. There we go. Okay, that's a good start. And this is one. Look up the court. Be ready to move. Obviously, they drop back pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. um, but on the next defensive rebound, you know, hopefully we can maybe get it kicked out to the side right away, get somebody to release, and get some transition basketball going on. Because mm. this team does play well in a quicker pace. Right. And he didn't walk? Uh-oh. I think he trotted. We're going to call that one on Henderson for a little reach in there. Why are we... Ugh. So 
So we're looking at 12-6 right now with a little bit over a minute left. They're missing their free throws, though. I like that. I mean, they've got a substitution here. Phillips back in. Second one up. Good. North Scott picks up a press here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that's how there you break is. a press. I like it. Press and again. Do it. Press us again. I dare you. <laughs> I don't know if I do that. I don't know if I go that far. Good defense. But, you know, hopefully there. you can make them think twice about it. And, right. You know, then you're not fighting it for the entire, entire game, game. And wearing out your legs early on. It's crazy. He got crazy. Got all of our points right now. He, he does. In and out, rebound there, Hodges. Nice. Up and, ahead, Deweese. Man, the tough thing there is, okay, you know, that's a, a nice deep shot for them. It, they fell back. They aren't crashing the right. boards. So, you know, I don't know if that's conscious or if that's just something the kids are doing. You know, if they're trying to prevent us from getting into transition, transition. basketball or if it's just kind of the way it's – See, like right there, I mean, yeah. three of them were most of the way back by the time the ball came off the rim. rim. Exactly. So it's and and you know we the the kids do the ones that do the AAU they do play a lot more of an up pace, you know, type thing when they do their travel ball and three and no D. Yeah, pretty much. Three and no D, baby. Yep. But you know. But that's what they play what they see. Yep. So we're down to 27 seconds. And, you know, here's the thing. That's why, I mean, uh, yeah, can threes win games? Yeah, if you can make Oh, yeah. It. Can you outscore a team and beat them? Uh, you can, but it's a dangerous way to play basketball. Exactly. You know, history has shown us the teams that are great defenders, the ones that do those things are the ones that are going to win consistently. And, you know, that's what we talk about. You right. know, the three big things, the 50-50 balls, setting screens, and Boxing out. Boxing out. Like, those three things, I don't care how good of a three-point shooter you are. If you don't have somebody on the court doing those things, you're not going to get there. Oh, no way. Did that, are, did that let's, count? Hold on. Let's go to the replay. We can, folks, I think. We could probably find that if I'm quick enough. There, no, we're didn't quite get it. Uh, we can go back. Ding. Can I get there? Ah, not quite. Not Ooh. quite. Uh, my finger was not on the trigger for that. Well, we're having a meeting of the minds, so. And the uh, head official walking over now to say no Michael. good. Michael. Wow, that's. I, I think I, mean, I got it. Nope. Wow, that's too bad. I mean, I hate to say. I mean, it's, as weird as this sounds, that's too bad because that's a once in a, you know, one hundred shot. Yeah, you know? more, <laughs> especially during a game. But you know, here's the thing: he still made it. Yeah. I okay. Didn't affect the score. Fine. But, right. You know, at the end of the night, he's still going to have that story to tell. Exactly. And he doesn't get the point, so it works out well for us. But yeah. if we have any friends from North Scott listening, I apologize. Yeah. And if we do have any friends from North Scott, I, I will apologize in advance. We are not as um, unbiased as maybe we should be. <laughs> I'll be honest. Yeah. But I mean, I, I try at times, but yeah. I mean, I'll compliment them when they're doing good things. Oh, yeah. And, and here's you know the thing. I mean? We all just want to come out and have fun. Yep. It's high school basketball. Exactly. It's not that. I mean, just we're a bunch of muskies. We'll admit it. <laughs> I have somebody I, <laughs> I have a friend who's watching at home Rewound it Because uh, I haven't had a chance to yet uh, And they think it might have been good But super close Super close um, But we'll, we'll not Is it kind of like is it, It'd be kind of like maybe in the NFL When there's not enough evidence to overturn it Yeah well and luckily our evidence Doesn't count for anything <laughs> So <laughs> I, So It also might have been why I couldn't Find, find it. it. <laughs> Let's just say that. Good no foul there by uh, uh, Tyler.
Thompson on the other end. Easy, you know, it would have been an easy three-point play for him so he didn't fall, foul him. And then uh, back on the other end, Cray again with another bucket. No, 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 no. Good. Oh, my. Okay, that's all right. We got the ball. Up ahead to Cray. I don't like it when he's in transition. No call. No call. No, no, no. no. Charge on Cray. So 10 to 15 here. You know, so, I mean, we're within five. We're within five, but, you know, an offensive foul is something we just cannot do in this game. Not. Mm. You've got to realize that he beat you there. Jump stop. Pull up and hit the J. You yeah, know, if you, anything. Yeah, you, you've got to get that jump stop. You've got to be that court aware, especially with a team like North Scott. You know, you can get away with that with some of the other right. teams, but you're not going to get away with it. Here. No. Especially the way they've been playing defense the whole game, you know what I mean, so far. And then they get the little roller there. And again, I will put my standard disclaimer on that. It's a hell of a lot easier, heck of a lot easier. Right. I say that, folks. It's a heck of a lot easier from up here than oh. it is down there. Lost the handle on it there. Oh, nice. Good work down on the other end. Really good work back there. You know, we had a loose ball that got away from Cray there, but he hustled back, stood his ground, didn't go for the fake, and, uh, you know, got, and then the shot was off, and um, Wieskamp got a little tip in there, and we got the ball back, and nice oh, timeout by the Muskies here. We'll Down 20 to 10. We'll take a quick break and be right back. You know Rivo as expert plumbers, but did you know Rivo can also be your one source for complete bathroom and kitchen remodels? With professional craftsmen doing the job for more than 30 years, experienced in tile, carpentry, and of course plumbing, Rivo can transform a dreary basement into an elegant bathroom and upgrade a worn out kitchen using inspirational design and quality brands. Before you stand in line at a big box store, call Rivo Incorporated and see how a hometown professional can refresh and improve your home. Did we mention quality matters? Welcome to our cut quality center. Let's take a closer look. Our mowers provide superior laser precision cut quality for a perfectly manicured lawn. Let's break this down in science terms. This grass is cut good. Ball. Down 10. Just under six minutes left in the half. I'd like to see us, if we can find a way to get this down to a two possession game before we go into the half. That's not how we're going to do it. Yeah, North Scott has got a little bit of a trap going on here. Good work on the other end. Now that's twice, you know, two out of three breaking that press is pretty good. And, you know, that's a number that we can work with. The math yeah. on that works. Yeah. But what you're going to hope is on that one out of three that you don't fully break the press, don't give up the layup. Wow. Wow. Or the set three-pointer. Yeah, that was number three there. That was Watkins Sr. Looking at their lineup, they're, they're going to have – that's the only, you know, guy that's a senior that's on the floor right now is the guy that just made the three. Yeah. So 25-12. Hodges. Over to Thompson for three. Good work by Lopez underneath. Why would you? Thompson there picking up the foul underneath. I don't know who it was on, but little Lopez there with the heads up play underneath, tipping the ball out. Good work. So Thompson will go to the line now. Need to stop the bleeding here. There we go. I mean, we were within five just two minutes ago. Second one up and good. Nicely done by Thompson. Wees Camp getting back up, ready to come back in. Oh, nice pass. That's a nice pass. 
Got a, got by one of our guys and got the. Oh, hit low. In the middle. Hard shot, and he does get it to fall. That's a tough shot. Nice job there by Henderson. And a set of, oh, big three on the other end. Nice rebound. Good job up ahead to Cray. Good there. He learned, but, oh, he learned. It just the shot didn't fall for him. He learned from his last one where he drove it in, and, and this time he hit that jump shot. Jumper just doing everything right. The shot just didn't fall for him. It went off his foot last. Went off his foot last. It's our ball. So North Scott still with their little trap that they got going here. It looks like they're going to run. Henderson. Good work. So, you know, they're. I think they're just trying to pester us a little bit. I don't think they're really going all in with this. Hodges' first look at the basket tonight. Can't get it to fall. Yeah, I think it's just a keep him honest situation. Yeah. Oh! oh. Go, they didn't They didn't stop play I, as much as it sounded like maybe they could have. Nice work there on the other end by Wieskamp. We got to get back, guys. I wonder if Lopez's bell got rung a little bit there because he got clipped big time. North Scott wanted to travel, but another big three. Wow, that's his second one. Got a 30-second timeout here by North Scott. You will hang out right here. You know, just when I thought we had something going, they did go and drain that three. I mean, it's, it's just when you think you can kind of climb your way back and get a couple good possessions and get some stuff going, it's boom, they hit that three. And that's it's a little frustrating. <laughs> but uh, it, it definitely is. And, you know, you know they're frustrated. You know this isn't starting off with the first, you know, uh, what have we got about 14 minutes into this. It hasn't gone the way they wanted. No. But it's also to be expected. I mean, it, right. North Scott's a strong team. So there's no question. Very good team. Obviously, they can hit their threes uh, and – uh, again, we, we talk about this ad nauseum, but it is just a simple mathematical fact. If you're going to shoot the threes, you've got to hit 40-plus percent, and they're doing it. Yep, they are. I mean, nice. Good work there by Thompson. Following, following a shot. Offensive yep. rebounds are amazing things. Yep. So now we got to pick up a little trap here. So 10-point game. And that's a charge all day. Yep, all day long. That's the right call. I mean. It, and that's the thing that we've got to do. Yep. Smart defense, being quick with your feet, not playing with your hands, right. not being lazy. Right. Those are the things that can beat a team like this. Exactly. And frustrate them, you know. Yeah, I mean, did you see his reaction? Oh, yeah, he was. He was, yeah. Yeah. Thought about the three, got it into Cray. Inside, great work. Great work by Cray. Let you take another look at that nice shot by Mr. Cray. Dang it. There it is again, right there. It's, we get, oh man. Apparently, there's no words for it, huh, Toby? <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I mean, a good three. I mean, he had a... I, and, and you can't... When they hit shots like that, you know, part of you has to just, like... Not that they're enemies, but let's say respect your enemy. Right, right? exactly. Like, so he did get the foul before this shot there, and that's their seventh team. No, that's foul. their fifth. 
Or no, that, yeah, that's our fifth. We're That'll at six. Fifth. Yeah, we're at six. My bad. You know, so for the way the game started out, I would have thought we would have been in yeah. bonus by now, but. That's off Thompson. So 33-22. Like I said, we were down to eight. Come on, get back, guys. Oh, almost. Another big three. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I, I'm not kidding you. <laughs> I, I, I don't have words either. I mean, again. Great. I mean. If they're going to hit shots like that. I, yeah, it's just they're, they're feeling it. They're feeling really good right now. And, and Henderson tried to drive. He picked up the blocking foul, I'm assuming. 30. On Kilberg. That's another senior, but he is not. A, he did not start the game, but he has made three threes, I believe. Two for sure. Thompson thought about it. I mean, we got three, three seconds, seconds in the lane. By he didn't make it out. Nope. And that. And, and that's, you know, I was just sitting here watching. You know, that's. That's like the one small area that I can see live. And, <laughs> you know, I'm watching the motion out top, they're doing well. He's bouncing around nice little track. And he just didn't quite make it out of the lane. And I'm like, uh oh, and then the whistle blew. Yep. Inside jumper, no good. At the end of half, it's uh, North Scott 36, Muscatine 22. We'll take a quick break, and I think we have a special guest hanging out with us for a few minutes. And after the half, don't let me forget to tell him who the special guest secret announcer might be for ooh, Friday night. Ooh. You know Rivo as expert plumbers, but did you know Rivo can also be your one source for complete bathroom and kitchen remodels? With professional craftsmen doing the job for more than 30 years, experienced in tile, carpentry, and of course plumbing, Rivo can transform a dreary basement into an elegant bathroom and upgrade a worn out kitchen using inspirational design and quality brands. Before you stand in line at a big box store, call Rivo Incorporated and see how a hometown professional can refresh and improve your home. Did we mention quality matters? Welcome to our cut quality center. Let's take a closer look. Our mowers provide superior laser precision cut quality for a perfectly manicured lawn. Let's break this down in science terms. This grass is cut good. This grass is cut not as good. Hustler Turf. Mow like a pro. Stop in to Muscatine Lawn and Power at 2020 Stewart Road to see Hustler quality for yourself. At Hustler Turf, quality matters, especially in the strength and durability of our mowers. So you know your Hustler will stand the test of time. We think the difference is obvious. With our welded fabricated steel deck, high strength 11 gauge one piece frame, and the precision control of our smooth track steering, anyone can mow like a pro. Stop in to Muscatine Lawn and Power at 2020 Stewart Road to see Hustler quality for yourself. Rivo, the plumbing experts for Muscatine and surrounding areas has moved. Our new location at 1109 Grandview Avenue offers spacious parking and a large open showroom. Employing experienced plumbers and carpenters, we specialize in remodeling entire bathrooms and kitchens. Imagine the possibilities. Stylish new faucets, sinks, shower units, bathtubs, and more, along with tankless water heaters and gas fireplaces. We also provide complete residential and commercial plumbing services. Rivo Incorporated, call us for your next remodel. From a clogged toilet to a complete sewer line replacement, Rivo is a modern plumbing company designed to respond quickly to all shapes and sizes of plumbing needs. Bringing in our heavy equipment to replace cracked gas lines or designing clever piping systems for new construction plumbing, a family-owned company that's reliably honest and remarkably affordable. Right here in Muscatine, all day long, every day of the week, Rivo Incorporated, skill, knowledge, and tools to solve the messiest problems. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. 
Uh, Mr. Hudson has them doing something. I think I've got the rough instructions here. They're going to be spinning around 10 times, going to make a layup, passing it back, spinning around 10 times, and continuing this until at some point somebody's going to win. Um, I, I think we're going to have a hot mess, but while we have that hot mess on the screen for you, I've got a very special guest with me for halftime, and it, it's a phonetically challenging situation. My name? Yeah. Yes, very. Do you remember how to say it? Hewitt, yeah. Yeah. I do, but I every time I look at it, H-O-U-T doesn't get me to Hewitt. Oh, no. It's it's Hoyt. It's Hoyt. It's... I, I always want to say Hoyt. I'll, I'll be completely honest. I've never understood where people come up with that. I, I don't lots know. Lots of people go that way. But okay, guys. Everybody out there in the YouTube universe and Facebook, please phonetically spell for us H-O-U-T. No. In the H comments. H-U-O-T. Or H-U-O-T. Sorry. Yes. Pardon me. H-U-O-T. Yes. It, give me what you think. I, I'm just curious. So that's actually not why she's here, everybody. Um, so Becky and I actually do several cool things together. Uh, she leads the Muskie Minutes team, mm -hmm. uh, which does the announcements every week, some other video projects um, throughout the school. So Becky, give them a little quick overview of what Muskie Minutes really is. Um, well, it is a student-led news broadcast class, I guess, um, that we kind of make up on the fly. It covers... <laughs> news and sports and you know official school announcement type stuff like that uh, but it's also fun they are trying to incorporate social media more so they do things like weekly polls uh, they do skits we've done a lot of shout outs to local businesses um, and it just kind of changes from week to week to whatever the kids are interested in and can creatively think of that week and that is always interesting i will say that it, it, it's amazing uh you know, you can see the creative juices fl ebb and flow. Like, yes. you know, go out to YouTube, folks. You can find them. Search Musky Minutes. There's some entertaining stuff. There are some boring announcements. You know, that's like the legitimate stuff they have to do. Um, but, man, you can see them grow. Like, every episode, you know, I love how they, they take constructive criticism very well. Mm -hmm. You know, and they're like, oh, yeah, you know what? That doesn't make sense. Or maybe we could do this. Um, you know, at one point I had joked about how Family Feud is awesome because it's like the same math every time, but everybody still loves it. And next thing you know, there's a Family Feud skit in Musky Minutes. It went on for five hours, but yes, it, we did it, it. It did, it did, it did. But you know, that's all right. They had fun. Yeah. Or at least it looked like they had fun. They did. So Musky Minutes, great, great stuff. Go look for Cooking with Gabe. That's almost always hilarious. But... What else do we have coming up? I know we've got Senior Survivor, which is something that's, I'm going to say new. It's not really new. I mean, it's newer than when I was here because we didn't do it. So that counts as new, right? Because I'm not that old. Yes. So for the people out there that don't know what Senior Survivor is, what is it? It is um, an opportunity for teams to raise money for charity. Um, we have seven teams currently that are doing like the preliminary fundraising and then uh, the top five earning teams will get to go on and actually do the week-long challenge, uh, which will start February 27th. Um, well, it's the 27th now. It is not the 27th. No, I mean, it's oh. it's going to start on oh, the 27th because yeah, yeah, yeah. you've announced it. It's official. Oh, it is. Yes. Whatever that Monday is. Yes. So what what are <laughs> the challenges? Like, or what? Okay. Let's yeah. say this. If maybe they aren't all planned yet, yeah. what have some challenges in the past been? Um, well, hang on. We've I'm going to hand this off to Ms. We got, Peterson. We're, we're playing past the mic here. How are you, Kendra? Hello. So for Senior Survivor, some of the challenges in the past have included contacting Muskie Inflatables, um, which is a local business in Muscatine. And we will have them blend up some gnarly ingredients like sardines um, into a fruit smoothie. And then they have to do some miscellaneous obstacles before they can run their race um, and they get bonus points for not vomiting uh, there are other events challenges that happen at night that um, the audience won't be here for and some of those are endurance tests so um, how long can now, you hold your arm above your head now now take a half a step back there because you you alluded to something you said at night when there might not be an audience what is that 
So Senior Survivor is a 24-7 challenge that the seniors sign up for, essentially. Um, they fundraise to be able to stay the night at the school for an entire week. Which is uh, ridiculous. Yeah, a little bit bonkers uh, to have That's that That's why many. we didn't do Senior Survivor. <laughs> <laughs> we left. Senior Runner. Thank you. I'll be here. I said senior runner instead oh. of senior survivor. Oh, gotcha. It was a bad joke. Yeah, yeah okay. well, <laughs> that's that's pretty accurate, actually. <laughs> Although I will say the one thing that we had that you guys don't have is a gorilla. Who said we don't have a gorilla? I have not seen a gorilla. Well, just I mean, you like at the it. game. I mean, like at the oh. games, oh. we had a gorilla. Mm. Shout out Justin Sywasink. Class of 97. Whoop. I actually do remember that because the gorilla suit was still around in 2015. It probably it was probably pretty rough by then, I would imagine. Oh, absolutely, yeah. No, we did have are, to get rid of it, yeah. That was a blast. Justin Sywasink was... Yeah, I wish we would have had a real mascot that he could have been. I do, too. You know, like, I... Because you can't do a giant spear walking around. Or giant that fish. Be, that yeah, also ne doesn't quite work as works. well. Neither one of those works, but... They have fun. Okay, so Senior Survivor, what can the people out there listening now do to help? How do they participate? So the way that the community can participate is by reaching out to any of um, the teams or Tony Lo Console or, I mean, even Chris here with Discover Muscatine. Wait, what? What did I just get volunteered for? He just got volunteered that if someone reaches out to him... Um, uh, we they will have the opportunity to donate to the local charities that people are raising money for. So, welcome to my world, <laughs> folks. <laughs> there welcome are a couple. There are a couple of different organizations, such as the MCSA, the Muscatine Community Social or Center for Social sure. Action, the Salvation Army, the United Way Kids First Fund, Muscatine, um, Michaela's Hope. So all of these are organizations that are locally being raised money for, and I can say right now. Um, they're working real hard. In the past years, we've raised over seventeen thousand dollars total. So, a lot of that gets By to come staying back to the community. At the school. By staying I, at I the would, school. That blows my mind. That blows my mind. Yeah. I, I would. I would donate to leave. <laughs> I just, I just, how it's going to be. But, folks, uh, senior survivor, you'll see some more stuff coming up. Um, maybe what we can do is uh, bribe some of the Muskie Minute kids to cut some promos. Uh, that we can actually play out during the games and some stuff like that. Uh, help kind of keep you guys up on what's going on. And maybe, maybe if they talk super nicely, they might get a little bit of live coverage during the event. <laughs> maybe. Maybe find somebody that can help with that. So, well, thanks for stopping up. Thank you. you have any advice for the second half for the Muskies? Uh, be better than North Scott. That's all. Easy. Insightful. Thank you. Insightful. I will pass it on to Coach Charlie. <laughs> <and I say. laughs> Luke is going to love it. <laughs> yeah. Well, well. Yeah, thanks. Good to see ya. I'm not staying in school overnight. Folks, we're getting ready to tip back off here. Toby's going to sit back down with me. Uh, the Muskies are down 36 to 22 uh, against North Scott here at MHS Fieldhouse. Uh, we got 14 minutes. No, oh, 14 minutes. Where did I? We're down 14. 14, yeah. Uh, you know. We're coming out. Toby, what do we have to do here at the start of the second half to, to make a dent in this? Pro I mean, honestly, I really like what we were doing. It's just right there. I mean, I, I mean, it. I, I mean, we weren't really doing anything wrong per se. I mean, we had a lot of good things going for us. I mean, we got some good baskets we, on the other end, and we didn't have a lot of horrible Not, turnovers. No. I mean, maybe a couple more fouls than we would have liked but i mean they're doing a lot of good things it's just and now see there's a good one getting right. it in down and start racking up their team fouls right but i mean when when they're making threes like that on the I, other end I, I mean you just can't i wish i knew what the three point percentage that they hit during the first half was i mean i think they missed two i don't know how many they made i don't know it, it had to be 75 percent yeah i probably should do a little better job of keeping track of that but or maybe you know what i do actually have some stat tracking software that we could have somebody at home doing the stats on right. a computer feeding it back into us live that would be good there's Wies camp second that point. actually that sounds like a kelly gray project there it is and actually you know what i do need to give a quick shout out to mr jody gray had a birthday last weekend and unfortunately my wife and i were not able to make it but mr jody gray 
Happy birthday. Yeah, happy birthday. That I think that message came from like a nerdery, I think. Uh, <laughs> Anderson and, drives in, can't and, get the roll. And I officially can't go home tonight, folks. <laughs> Although, who am I kidding? My wife doesn't listen to me. Okay. See, there it is. I mean, it's... Oh. And that's... Guys, there is a, a, a... One of the things that's putting us in this position, we flat out missed a box out right there. Like, he just ran right around us. And that's one... You know, the key there is you got to make sure you're feeling them behind you. And I think he just got to step out behind him. He was able to cut right. all the way around him for the offensive rebound and puts us in a position where we have to foul or feel like we have to foul on that right. the free throw line. And they are struggling a little bit from the line tonight. I mean, they're probably just under 50% of probably in that 48 range, 46 range. So, I mean, so yep, right there. Yeah, they're, they're on an average making one of two, maybe a little bit less than that at the line. So basically where they are killing us is on the three-point line. Lopez, three. Oh, I'd really like to have seen him make that. I'm not sure, but I think that goes without saying. Yeah, I mean, just they got that extra pass. That it seems like there's Phillips again from the corner. Good rebound there for Wies Camp. See, I think, like I said, I mean, we're, I'll guarantee you we're leading in rebounds. I've got a foul inside on uh, number three, I think. Did they call that? Nope, not number three. It's number 15, foul inside on Reed. That's his second. Team second. Team second as well. Wees Camp. Oh, wow. Just couldn't get the ball in. Anybody, nobody could get open. And they sure released quick on that one. Yeah, they did. you got to take that, Lopez. They're giving you that. Nice. Good work there by Wieskamp, getting him to get the foul, picking up the foul. He thought about the three for a second, and then did get him to, he drove in and picked up the foul. So that's their team's third foul. And number three on number 34, Albright. Coming into the game now is Thompson for Lopez and Hodges for Emmer. So. Inside to Hodges, there's his first points of the night. So, I mean, that's another thing. I mean, if you look at our scores, Luis Camp and Hodges, they got four points right now between the two of them. You know, so, I mean, another three, another three. Oh, he missed one. Oh, my goodness. We got him stepping the odd, on the line. And, and, you know, that's one, folks, where we lucked out right there. We weren't quite able to get a body on him. He came all the way from, uh, he had to be almost at the three-point line right. to get that offensive yeah. rebound on the other side of the rim. Yep. Um, and to Cray Out to Henderson for three. There's our first there three. There we go. That's our first Three of the night. Now let's hop on that and roll. Yes, exactly. Now let's just rattle off about 14 straight, square this whole bad boy up. Works for me. Man, they're getting... No, 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 no. Oh, my goodness. He slid in there. Really nice work there by North Scott. Got to give him credit on that. They're they're getting around our guys and getting to the ball. Oh. And you, you have to give them a lot of credit for that. Wees Camp with a great rebound, but oh, nice work there by Thompson up ahead to Cree. You're too far under. Yeah, and then you walked. Yep. He just got too far under. Pass led him a little bit too far, and. Uh, he knew he was too far under, and so he was kicked it back to Thompson, and Thompson was going to have the easy lay-in. 
but the math on that one just didn't quite work out. Yeah. Favor. So did did you decide who the announcer is on Friday night or? Oh yeah, I've decided. Okay. We got blocking. It's a name everybody will recognize. Blocking foul there on Henderson. Un un His unfortunately, I won't be here. Friday I was going to say because you decided what family is more important than I, basketball. I, I, I guess I'm going to go watch my daughter play Division One softball. So, <laughs> uh, you know. Okay, so tell us a little bit about that. Where is she? Um, she's at Drake University. Um, she is a junior. Had played second base for the first two years. And um, now we really don't know for sure what he's going to do with her, whether it's going to be short or center. Um, you know, she really likes it up there at Drake. Um, neat university. I highly recommend going to... If you're a softball player, going to one of his camps, really good softball camps. Um, not, you know, I mean, they, there's a lot of them that we went to through the years that um, I will say it for, um, without trying to, you know, bad talk anybody that are more like a combine than a camp. And the uh, Drake one was more like an actual camp where she actually learned a lot of things. Uh, about the next level of softball. Did they have any tents at the camp? No, not, not that kind of camp, but mm. very good, very good. No, but, um, yeah, she loves it, um, and I'm excited for her junior year. Um, unfortunately, she is the first first class oh. that does not get the COVID year, so. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> yep. Oh. So, yeah. So she's got two more years of eligibility left and then uh, on to Oklahoma State to be a physician's assistant. So very excited for this weekend to finally get to see her. So that'll be fun. But back here to the game. Uh, yeah, time out. We'll take a quick break and we'll be right back. Quick break. Did we mention quality matters? Welcome to our cut quality center. Let's take a closer look. Our mowers provide superior laser precision cut quality for a perfectly manicured lawn. Let's break this down in science terms. This grass is cut good. This grass is cut not as good. Hustler Turf. Mow like a pro. Stop in to Muscatine Lawn and Power at 2020 Stewart Road to see Hustler quality for yourself. Rivo, the plumbing experts for Muscatine and surrounding areas, has moved. Our new location at 1109 Grandview Avenue offers spacious parking and a large... Folks, we're back for the third quarter. Last of the third quarter, we've got about three minutes left. Muskies are down 44 to 29. And uh, Muskies will have the ball. we got a couple quick charges there on both sides. So team fouls are 5-2-3. Hodges has got a look, short. It's like a pass to Thompson though, worked out. Nicely done. Thompson laser in for two. Good work there by Thompson underneath to see that that ball was gonna be a little bit short for Hodges. So we have a fan out there, Jana Clark, who would like us to announce ourselves. Because apparently we didn't at the top of the broadcast. Oh really? Yeah, but you know what? I think Janet should have to guess. She knows, knows me. Right, exactly. I think I, I like that idea. I think we could be the super secret announcers. Yes, I agree. I mean, and you know, and it's one of those things where, uh, if, haven't you listened to a couple games before? Well, <laughs> I mean, she has, I'm sure. And, and yes, do we normally announce who we are? Yes. yes. Did we maybe forget this time? Okay. We probably did. Yeah, and it's all. So, Janet, let's see. You've known me a long time. You've known my family. Oh, that's a risky pass in there, but somehow came up with it. We just came up underneath. Nice and it worked kick out. Underneath. That was a really good look by Cray there. So now we're looking at 33 47. We need to stop on this end. Another three. And they've kind of gone cold on their threes. So. Wies camp three. That's got to go. There it is. There it is. 
There it is. 36 to 47. And that's, you know, that is the thing about this team. They never give up. Right. A a any game we've watched, as frustrated as you see them get, because these guys would not be good poker players. No. Mm -mm. You, you know what they're thinking. Right. Gosh, but, man, they never stop. Nope. And, and they're not going to. You know, I mean, that's no. just the way they're wired. No. And, and that's the impressive thing about them. You know, sometimes the score doesn't show the actual way the game went, you know, or... Yeah, you, very much so. You know, because sometimes the score kind of gets away from them. Good long arms there. Underneath, ah, uh, that's their sixth team foul underneath. Wies Camp going to the line. So for Janet Clark, this is Chris Anderson and Toby Lehman. Thank you. We, uh, we've only I, been doing this for about... 15 games now. <laughs> 15, yeah, games, but, but it's all good. It's all good. Yeah. You know, we could probably put some things on the screen. I just, you know, I kind of figured most people don't want to know it's me. Probably. And, and to me, and for me, I'm not from Muscatine originally, yeah. so. But you can see Toby most mornings in yes. the Ivy Produce Department. Correct. Heck, you can actually see a great free throw by Mr. Wieskamp there. You can actually see Mr. Lehman in the background of the Muscatine Today show fairly often. Yeah, because I'm normally working, <laughs> filling whatever. Are you implying that we aren't working? No. Okay. You guys uh, had, were there today and had the old Muscatine power and water there today, so. Come Student on. section's coming to life over there. Come on, defense. Solid defense. And we're going to call oh. it. Foul on by Thompson. That's our oh. fifth, but it's not a shooting foul. So No, it's not a shooting foul, but, man, you, you want to get that win right there. Yep. That's Those are the momentum swinging plays. When you can get that long, hard defensive Stay stop, in. and now it's, you know, shot clock's gone. They can do it all over again. A big three there from the top of the key. They did cool off, though, so they're probably shooting somewhere around 46%, I'm going to say from three and eight. So 52 to 37, we're gonna work here for the last shot. Wies camp inside, nope, before the shot, but that is that, team seventh. That's gonna put them in the one and one before the end of the third quarter. Yeah, we're sh we should be shooting, right? Yeah, there we go. Yep, there we go. So, I like that. That's number two on number 30, um, Kilberg. Kilberg? Had a sister that was a really good softball player. Please camp, get in there. So, 40. 39 to 52, don't let him shoot that three. Okay. Okay, so at the end of three, it's 52-39, North Scott Lancers with the lead. We'll take a quick break and be right back. Rivo, the plumbing experts for Muscatine and surrounding areas has moved. Our new location at 1109 Grandview Avenue offers spacious parking and a large open showroom. Employing experienced plumbers and carpenters, we specialize in remodeling entire bathrooms and kitchens. Imagine the possibilities. Stylish new faucets, sinks, shower units, bathtubs, and more, along with tankless water heaters and gas fireplaces. We also provide complete residential and commercial plumbing services. Rivo Incorporated, call us for your next remodel. Did we mention quality matters? Welcome to our cut quality center. Let's take a closer look. Our mowers provide superior laser precision cut quality for a perfectly manicured lawn. Let's break this down in science terms. This grass is cut good. This grass is cut not as good. Hustler Turf, mow like a pro. Stop in to Muscatine Lawn and Power at 2020 Stewart Road to see Hustler quality for yourself. You know Rivo as expert plumbers, but did you know Rivo can also be your one source for complete bathroom and kitchen remodels with professional craftsmen doing the job for more than 30 Ladies and gentlemen, we are back to start the fourth quarter. The Muskies are down 52-39 against North Scott here at the MHS Fieldhouse. 
The good news is, while, yes, we're down by 13, we are actually in the one and one already to start the fourth quarter. Right. And we do start out with the ball, obviously, here. So I don't know if I... I, I I'm second-guessing here a little bit with Hodges being underneath the hoop like that and Cray being out on the perimeter. I think it should probably be flipped a little bit. And uh, But once again, that's why I'm up here and I'm not down there. <laughs> I, I, I Cray underneath does really good work. Ooh, help. Yep. Yeah, that's a tough one. It's it's hard, but it was the right call. So he tried to get rid of it before he rolled, but he was sliding away. Yeah, he was sliding. So Oh come on. No, he didn't count the basket. Okay. So picking up the foul there is Hodges before the basket. That's our team six. So now we really gotta we really gotta be careful here. Cause uh, you know, we don't want to give up that advantage that we have right now because we're going to the line and they are not. The next foul they will, but Well, and again, this is one of those times where they've got to be really smart about what they're doing. Good switch there. Good work, great rebound by Henderson. And, and this is definitely one of those you've got to work hard and clean. Right. We just we need to score here. Ooh, inside. Wieskamp takes it up. Got to use a little bit stronger, bud. Take it up just a little bit stronger there. And there were three red jerseys in the fighting for the rebound. Yep. Oh, no. That's a deep three. Good rebound nice there. Rebound. Nice rebound there by Hodges. Very good work. There, I like Cray on the inside there. God, Wieskamp, if he wasn't had those long arms, that one might have got away from him. Nice work inside. Fade away, Jay. There we go. Nice job, Wieskamp. 41-52 now. Ooh. Got Wieskamp to chase him a little bit there and because Wieskamp looked like he was going to try to block it. And he finally faked him one way and went the other way enough that inside to Cray. Come on. Ah. You know, folks, I just got a message. Apparently, Jody Gray has gotten so old, his hearing is gone, and he didn't hear his first birthday shout-out. Oh, my goodness. I know. So we're going to have to do it again. Happy birthday to one of our good friends, Jody Gray. Had a birthday last weekend, and the last week. And uh, we weren't able to go, but Jody, happy birthday from all of us at Discover Muscatine. Quick timeout there by Muscatine. Just once again, we kind of get in that we're down by nine, and then they raffle off a couple threes, and then blue. Yeah, that, is, that is exactly <laughs> right. <Blew. laughs> I, I, don't, I don't think there's a better technical term for it than that. But, um, yeah, looking across the way here, I see, uh, you know, we got a great student section going, and the girls are throwing the shirts out again. Looking across, I see um, the two pitchers for Muscatine softball this summer and the catcher that'll be that's straight across from us. Um, so that's uh, interesting because I thought they had open gym tonight, but maybe they don't. <laughs> <laughs> that is a softball fan right there. Yep. Aren't they supposed to be an open gym? <laughs> but, you know, Even go Christmas. support your girls. You know, so, or your friends and, and stuff like that, too. You need to have that. You know, you're still a kid. Well, that's awfully nice of you to let them have some fun. Yeah, you know. But, um, yeah, so uh, back at 57-41 here with a little bit over five minutes left. And it'll be Muscatine Ball. Um and we just got to figure out a way to stop those darn threes. And really, I mean, like I said, I mean, if you take away their threes, we're probably winning this game. Take away half their threes, we might be winning we, this We'd game. be within a possession yeah, or two. Yeah, we'd be within a score or two for sure. But, I mean, they, and they aren't, kudos to them because they aren't just kind of 
rimming in threes. I mean, they're no, they're, they're draining threes like <laughs> like they, <laughs> they they do it. You know, it's like what they do and very good at it. Weiss camp underneath. Nice work. I don't get back. Good transition. D. Henderson forced him to take the shot maybe a little bit sooner than he wanted to, and he rimmed it out, and Wieskamp there for the board. Nope. Get it into Cray, out to Hodges, takes the three. There we go. There we go. See, right there. There's five unanswered points. You know, a lot of yeah, good things. An 11. And, and we got it back down to 11, and what are they going to do? And, and this is the tough thing. You know, we talked early on about points per possession right. right and right now they're just edging us out yep. you know it's so now north scott takes a timeout extending their lead back to 13 so it's an interesting timeout yeah i that's oh well, this is a full timeout as well not just a short one here so yeah 59 40 any restroom breaks i'm yeah, wondering, I don't wonder know. what he wanted to talk about i don't know I wonder if he's thinking maybe start slowing it down a little bit. Maybe, possibly. I mean, make us making us work a little bit more. And yeah. But I mean, if we get, I mean, like I said, in the paint, a lot of things we're doing good down there. Um, Again, we're not really playing that. No, poorly. we're no, mm -hmm. we're not. It's just they're draining their threes and credit uh, to well, them. And again. We knew from the tip off that North Scott's a good team. Right. Oh yeah. I mean, there's no no question about it. Right. So I mean, they don't lead the conference for nothing. You know what I mean? <laughs> but uh, yeah, I believe they are ten and four, and Bettendorf is also ten and four. But they must own the tiebreaker on Bettendorf somehow because they have Bettendorf listed as number two when you go to the standings, and they are listed. North Scott is listed as number one. So Muskies will get the ball. And like I said, I mean, we were five unanswered, and then bleh, that got us back on the other end and stopped the bleeding a little bit there for the Lancers. Out here to Cray. Tipped out of bounds. Musky ball still. Got 4.05 left. So. Yes. We're going to give everybody an opportunity to take a guess at the uh, special secret super duper announcer for Friday night. Okay. See if anybody's got any guesses. See if anybody's got any throw, guesses. Throw it in the Facebook comments or in the YouTube comments. Ooh. Oh, no. No. I didn't want to see that foul there, guys. No. Chance for a three point play for Phillips, their leading scorer. What's he got tonight? He's only got 10 points, so, I mean, we're doing good there. I mean, he's got 247 points on the year, and he's only got 11 points now tonight. So, I mean, we've kind of limited their leading scorer, you know. I mean, we're doing good there, too. So, I mean, it's a lot of, a lot of really good things we're doing tonight. So here's everyone's hint. It's probably one of the most knowledgeable people of – Muskie sports for the last handful of years, but he's not from Muscatine. Hmm. He's either a transplant or an implant, depending on how you. Uh, <laughs> transplant or an implant. That's pretty Ooh, good. We, we had travel. some feet moving. Yep. We had some feet moving. He was in a hurry. He wanted to get to the hoop. So 62 46 here, a little bit over three minutes left. Okay, while we're bringing the ball up the court, hint number two. He's from Badgerland. Badgerland. It's not Timmerman, is it? Well, I'll tell you this. The gentleman's last name rhymes with Slimmerman. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Timmerman's going to do it. Good for you. Yeah, Mr. Timmerman's, Timmerman's going to sit in with us uh, Friday night for the game. That'll so. be good. He'll do a really good job. You know, I, uh, like I said, I don't know if, I mean, I'm at a lot of musky stuff. Yes. Uh, that dude. Yeah. Uh, exponentially more. Yep. Yeah, he spent a lot of time in back in my hometown, too, so. Yeah, and I should say area yeah. sports, even, yeah. not just musky sports. Yeah. Like surrounding towns, you know, 
He does he does a little lot for Wilton too, so. Oh, drive that. Nice work. Nice, nice work by Wieskamp. 46-62. Good drive. Good underneath. I liked it. We need a defensive stand here. I only thought about the three. Gets it to Phillips. Kicks it out. And I think there's, like you said, I think they're trying to slow it down a little bit here and work possessions and yeah, and and which is, I mean, I don't. That's the right move. It you is know, absolutely the right move. Know. And you know, the reality is we're not going to make up 16 points in two minutes. No. So, you know, rebound there. Hold by head high. Yep. Keep playing it out. And, and again, they don't stop. I mean, the effort from Wieskamp on that last layup, oh yeah, reverse layup underneath. It, they're still there, guys. Yep. Jeez. That's relentless. It is. I mean, is it? it is re. And then they take another timeout. Yeah, I wonder if they're subbing. Yeah, it looks like they're going to bring some other folks in. in. You know, and again, folks, one thing that, you know, Toby and I have talked about before, I, I'm not necessarily a, a fan of letting off the gas. Even oh, yeah. in, like, a case like this where... Yep. You know, we're obviously down. Um, you know, I, I'm not ever gonna, I'm not ever gonna nail a coach or anything if they, you know, keep shooting threes. Right. Because it's our job to stop. Them, exactly. Right? And you know, obviously, you don't have to be obnoxious about it, but just keep playing the game you've been playing. Right. You know, they're not intentionally running up the score. Nope. They're just playing the game they've been playing. Yep. And uh, I respect that. You know. Yeah, you absolutely. Know, you know, I ain't gonna say hey. Um, you know you. You do you, and, and if we can't stop you, then we can't stop you. I mean, that's – and it hurts. It stings, but I'm not going to – you know, I mean, that's how you get better. It is, absolutely. You know, and uh, – and, and they will. You, exactly. we got a hold here, and I believe that's on Kilberg. There you go. Nice job, Cray. He's up to 14, 15 points on the night. He's going to be our leading scorer. He leaves for Florida, Mr. Moss. Oh, yeah? Yep. They're going to Florida to play. Hmm. O'Reilly. Des Moines or Florida? <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, Cedar uh, Falls. <laughs> uh, well, right, yeah. Okay, let me, Iowa, Florida. <laughs> yeah, that's a no-brainer. I'll be in Arkansas later, so that's that's good enough. Walked. Yep. Shuffle, shuffle. We're down to a minute 27. A 67-50 game. into Bettis. This is his first time seeing action, isn't it, Bettis? Is? I believe so, yes. Yeah. Kicks out to Bettis. Ooh, kept his foot planted. Henderson. Uh, just a little long. And, and really being this late in the game, it's, that's unusual to be long, yeah. if anything. Down to a minute left. Well, that means one of two things. Either it's been an easy game or they've got very well-conditioned legs. It hasn't been an easy game, so I'm going to go on a limb and guess that they've got some pretty well-conditioned yeah. legs. Especially Henderson. He's a good workhorse. Inside to Cray again. Get in there. Want to be smart. Yep. Substitution? What? What? Did, did we call timeout? I believe that was yes. I mean, why? 
I believe, to get, yes, they made a substitution. And that's a loose ball there, a turnover by North Scott. So we're down to 24 seconds left. Down 69 to 50. I wish I could have been able to make out what the student section just said. I, I don't. I don't. It sounded extremely smart. Right. And the nuanced. foul. Nicely done by Cray. He's up to 18 points now. Chance to make it 19. He's probably he's real close to a double double. I'll bet. Down to he needed one more point to get a double double. Because I'll guarantee he's got 10 rebounds. Oh my God! Don't say that again, please. All I could think about was that stinking Burger King commercial. <laughs> my kids sing. Whopper, whopper, Burger double, double, triple, <laughs> something. I don't know. All of them. All the time. Whopper, <laughs> whopper, something. <laughs> get it to Cray. See if he can get it. And we're going to shoot a three on the corner. Whoa, number four. That's Becker. Freshman sensation. Little diaper dandy. And that'll end the game at a 69-56 game. We'll take a quick break, come back for some post-game thoughts. Rivo, the plumbing experts for Muscatine and surrounding areas, has moved. Our new location at 1109 Grandview Avenue offers spacious parking and a large open showroom. Employing experienced plumbers and carpenters, we specialize in remodeling entire bathrooms and kitchens. Imagine the possibilities. Stylish new faucets, sinks, shower units, bathtubs, and more, along with tankless water heaters and gas fireplaces. We also provide complete residential and commercial plumbing services. Rivo Incorporated, call us for your next remodel. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back. The Muskies just went down 69 to 56 against North Scott. Uh, yeah. You know, Toby, what are your thoughts? That's probably the most frustrated I've been in, a, in that they've played. I mean, I've, they played such a good game, and I was very impressed. You know, Craig stepping up huge. The Defense I'm, was. I'm not solid. sure this gentleman realizes that he is on camera. But um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you know. Uh, but you know, it's. I mean, you can't. I mean, you just. It's one of those I, nights where North Scott was hitting their threes, and um, and you know, and and that's honestly the difference of the game. Really, is is the, the the ability that they were having tonight to shoot the three. And you know, we were having this conversation with our kids. Uh, a week or two ago, you know, sometimes you just run into a better team. Right. And, and you know, that's going to happen in your basketball career. And tonight, North Scott was a better team. North Scott was a better team. Yep. You know, they made all their shots. Yep. They were a little quicker here, a little quicker there, you know, all, all those little things. And you know what? That just shows you what you've got to work on. You know, you, exactly. you can do two things after a loss like this. You can curl up into a ball and die. Right. Or you can take it. You can learn, learn from, from it. it. And get better exactly and that's you know that's something that both of the two varsity teams right the boys and the girls have done right i mean you have to give kudos to both coach torelli and lester camp yep you know they've gotten better each time out. yeah you know torelli's in year two lester camp's in year one right a lot of learning curves going on yep but you see continual growth right you see them do. Now, again, you know, uh, maybe a little bit better blocking out tonight. Yep. Yeah, great. But as a general rule, they've been doing good at those things. You right. know, those, those three things that we always talk about, blocking out, right. setting your screens, and getting the 50-50 balls. Right. And, and they're there. They just didn't bounce our way tonight. Right. And when those don't bounce their way and they hit, like, 126% <laughs> from three-point land, yep. it, it's going to be a tough game. It it's gonna is. It's going to be a tough game all night long. It, exactly. Um, I, I guess if I was to pick a, did we, did Craig get it last time too? I believe so. Because I almost want to give it to him again. I, I think, hey, you know what? If he deserves it, he deserves it. You're going, I'm, I'm going Craig. Craig. I'm going Craig. I got to agree. Yep. I mean, 19 points, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure he had like 10 or 11 rebounds. 
And, uh, you know, I, I would say I'll give it to Cray again. Great game by him. Not, not saying, taking anything away from how Wieskamp played and some of the others, Henderson. Um, but, I mean, Cray, he's the guy right now. He's the hot hand. Definitely. So, uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully maybe if I step away for a weekend here, Maybe we can get a couple W's. Hey, you know, <laughs> trust me, we will be watching that connection very closely. And depending on what happens Friday night, we do have a game Saturday as well, which right. will include the Hall of Fame inductions. Ooh. Uh, we'll have uh, quite a bit of information on that. I believe uh, Mr. Henson's actually going to be on the Muscatine Today show later this week talking about it. Good. Um, there, it, It's going to be a larger class. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not going to say any names yet. Uh, I don't know if it's public or not. So um, what's the, I mean, how many years out of school do you have to be for that? That's you, a good question. I didn't I know. Ten, five. Five? five. I'm, I'm not sure. It's five or ten. I know a couple years ago there was a conversation about when Joe could be inducted. Right. Um, because that's a name that obviously popped into my yeah, head. <laughs> I, I'm not sure on that one, um, <laughs> but I do know they do have a little bit larger class this year and a little bit one, a little bit of a larger class last year, to make up for the years they didn't with COVID. With COVID, um, so so that'll be good. Uh, we'll have a lot of nice stuff. They'll do a presentation for them at halftime. We'll have coverage of that. So definitely, uh, uh, we'll have it in Discover Muscatine as well. So, folks, Friday, Saturday, going to be some great games, and we actually. Quick shout out, we're also going to have uh, the Iowa Off-Road Carpet RC Racing Championships on Discover Muscatine Ooh. on Saturday. Uh, you know, not a lot of people realize this, but Donna Star Collectibles, they are one of, oh, I don't know, 10 to 12 indoor tracks similar to what they have. Yep. And there will be people from 10, 12 hours away it's coming here to race RC cars in Muscatine. Wow. You know, crazy, crazy thing. So. Folks, it's going to be a busy weekend for Discover Muscatine Sports Network, but we'll be here bringing all the musky action. And until then, have a great night. Stay safe. Oh, and I just heard from an unnamed source that the cops are out heavy tonight. So if you're out driving around, be Ooh. careful. Stay safe. I think yeah. that was actually advice for me. So everybody <laughs> have, have a great night, and we will see you Friday night.